Automatic drawing is the process of drawing something without thinking about it. In other terms, it's when you start drawing with no idea of what you are drawing. Synonyms include freeform drawing, mindless drawing, or even creative drawing, which I think is absurd as all drawings are creative by essence. Well, hello there, I'm Detroit. I made this 53 minutes long drawing in a page of my sketchbook using a rotring isograph. As is often the case for abstract doodles, this was a completely mindless process, meaning I didn't think about what I was drawing at all. At first it started with a few curves, then some more, and would you know it, you end up with a complete pattern reminiscent of a mandala. Mandalas are often found with high symmetries within them. Well, not this one. You can see what I mean though, it has the feel of a mandala by the different areas of the pattern it includes. Some spirals, leafy patterns, and twisting shapes. I have no idea how to call most of these. It's really hard to differentiate the patterns with words. I guess what I said are twisty shapes are reminiscent of horns in some way. Like the twisting is made by a lot of S-curves traversing the long horn shape. But you can also have straight lines across the horn shape, which gives more of a Cheshire cat teeth vibes. You see, it's impossible to properly describe, and I'm the one who made all of these. That's the fun part, isn't it? Finding out what your brain decides to do in the moment when you're not thinking about it. This is exactly why I love abstract art. Also because every drawing that is produced is completely different and original. I mean, the style isn't something that has never been seen, of course, but you still end up with an original drawing. Besides, the process of automatic drawing has like mental benefits or something, or at least it has for me. It's like a meditative state where you can empty your mind. And to be fair, I find that true for drawing in general, not just automatic drawings. But not having to wonder about layer styles and keyboard shortcuts and so on adds to the pleasure. Also not thinking about reproducing something, shading and so on. So abstract art really is the peak of the meditative part of drawing. And again, that goes for me, your own interpretation might differ. I remember talking to someone on Reddit a couple years ago that didn't like it and found it stressful to not have guidelines and not knowing what to do next. Some people do like having rules to follow, which is also something you can do mindlessly I guess. I'm a bit like that when it comes to work. In my scientific research work I have to be autonomous and make a lot of decisions by myself. And it is indeed refreshing to simply have someone or something tell you what to do. Following instructions is nice for that, but for drawing, being completely liberated and doing stuff with no plan, rhyme or reason is more fun for me. There's another bonus point for mindless drawing. It's that you can stop at any point. I'm saying that by opposition to some drawings I've done where there was an end goal in mind. Either because the whole page had to be filled for abstract drawings or because it didn't make any sense to stop it halfway through. I'm thinking for example about that grid of tiny houses right there. I had to fill the whole page. But today, it turns out I got a bit out of the process after exactly 53 minutes. And so I stopped. It's really hard to get back into the automatic mindset once you leave it and you fully take notice of what you've drawn. Instead of forcing myself to continue, I simply decided to stop it there. I end up with a blob that's not quite centered on the page. And that's fine by me. Sure, it could have looked better a bit differently, but that's not the point of the exercise. The point is to have fun, have it be relaxing, and of course to be automatic. If it stops being automatic, the exercise stops. It's as simple as that. So yeah, I encourage you to try this on your own time. Put on a show, or music, or just stay in complete silence. Don't let inspiration take you, quite contrarily. Go in with no hope and no idea what to do. Again, that's the point. It may be a bit scary, but it doesn't have to be. And then start scribbling. And that's the whole thing. There is nothing more simple. It's actually something we do constantly in our day-to-day -day life without realizing this sort of automatic thing. Like when you start chatting with somebody and you have a pen in your hand and you start playing with it, turning it between your fingers, etc. Or when you find a, let's say a ping pong ball and you throw it or you bounce it with no goal in mind. 
That is, in essence, an automatic behavior. I don't know what the point of this video is. I don't know if there's a message I want to give you, and I definitely don't have a conclusion to reach by the end of this drawing process. I guess as long as you like this moment we're having, that's cool by me. In a way, this script I have written is also quite automatic. I had a couple ideas of things I wanted to mention, like mandalas and stuff, but the rest I had no idea and I just started typing. It's free writing, this script. Free writing is a well-known tip to get in the groove for writers when you lack inspiration or motivation. Just by starting your activity with no goal in mind and no pressure because you don't plan on including what you're writing, you can see it as a warm-up. Well, for drawing, it's exactly the same thing. I make a lot of drawings, and a lot of them are automatic. If you like that, you can subscribe to the Detroit channel and join our 1600 something strong crew. If you could share one of my videos with a friend or someone, that would be nice as well. You know what, I have this playlist of digital paintings I really like more than the others, why don't you show that to your crush? Have a look at my Instagram and my Twitter and donate to my coffee so I can buy better lights. I'm Detroit and I can't wait to share more art with you next week. Bye!